time for a check on your forecast. Here's Katie. Let me think. Is there another way to say sunny, warm, beautiful, pleasant, calm. perfect? Yeah. Perfect, How yes. About that? <laughs> All the different ways I'm trying to think of. I have to do it so many times in the mornings that eventually you I know, run. I don't you know, my. You can be that broken record. Okay. <laughs> That's okay with me. The, the broken record will continue with today will be sunny, calm, and not as hot as yesterday, which we wrote reached. 90 degrees. That's not what we're expecting today. So we're 91 the day before, 90 yesterday. Today we're looking at something a little more reasonable, but still well above average. Now in the last few years, all the way back to about 2015, there was only one month that we didn't at least reach 80, but you'll notice the other ones are mid upper 80s to low 90s. So the, what we've been the last couple of days is not abnormal for a warm May. Here's where the temperatures start with for you this morning, mid 50s, low mid 50s along the coast, some upper 50s, Portland Metro, and then into the 60s as you head out through the gorge. We have evened out along the coast. This morning it had been warmer all morning long. This is the first time I've looked at this temperature change map and seen it's the exact same temperature as this time yesterday. It has been cooler for everywhere but Kelso. That's the first time it's been cooler and it stayed warmer there through the gorge. And the reason I show you this is because we're headed to a cooler day. I want to show you where we were, where we are, and where we're going. And where we're going is to upper 70s to low 80s, which is 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Look at the last few days. All of these have been so far above average has um, been in the darker red color, so the lighter colors are less of a deviation. Darker blues are more, lighter blues are less. We have now flipped to being warmer than average, and with this next week, all is supposed to be at or above average. Seems like we're going to continue to move in that direction. This is the small disturbance, that weak trough that's coming in through tomorrow, bringing that onshore flow. And now we're seeing here this edge right here, the leading edge of this ridge of high pressure, just sticking with us for a couple of days. Now the difference is that some of the other models show this actually coming right over and parking over the Pacific Northwest. This one has it off to the side and staying gone over just long enough for this to drop down, which is the holiday weekend and that is why we're seeing that possibility for a few more clouds and cooler temperatures on Saturday. Now, as I've mentioned before, anything that's more than a day or two in advance, just be prepared for it to change. We'll be continually watching the conditions this week, which right now look like they'll be pretty pleasant, mainly in the 70s, dry and mostly sunny. Yep.